<laughs> I need to know what not to do on a date. <laughs> What, does she have a Ph.D. in dating? I don't know, I know. This is like having your mom tell you about sex. These two are on a date? No, no. This is a story about what to do on a date. Goofus and Gallant? It begins mm -hmm. one early summer afternoon. It begins with Jeff. <laughs> Good one, Jeff. <laughs> and Kay. And a human ear. Ooh. And Nick. I meant to do that. <laughs> Bye, Nick. What a loser. Of course, you may not have a problem about what to do on a date, but Nick, well, he has a real dating problem. <laughs> if he took Kay out on a date, what would they do? Where would they go? Dennis! No, you can't inject puberty. It has to happen over Just time. Minute, Jeff. I'll get my tennis racket. Okay, Nick, but hurry. And Jeff, would you quit stalking me? That he wishes he had a life. Man, what a loser. Hmm? Oh. My God, Kay's been missing since last February. Hey, what about asking Kay to come to the community center with us on Friday to fix up that scavenger sale? We could make it a double day. You looked in my book, didn't you? What? You heard what I said. girl on a date? Helping to fix up the scavenger sale? Hmm. Is it? Why not? On a first date? Uh, first date? Uh, yeah. Well, Kay's a swell girl. Uh, I was gonna... I was thinking of calling her. Maybe ask her to the show Friday. Good picture. Wagon train. <laughs> well, hurry up and call her and let's get going. I still have to get my things yet. Call her now? Sure. You know the number, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I've got a forever plaid audition. I, I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hang up the phone. With each dial, he comes closer and closer to the most humiliating moment of his life. What if she says no? She will. Hello? Oh, hello, Kay? No. This is Nick Baxter. No. Oh, hello, Nick. How are you? I heard inside. Hi, thanks. Say, Kay, next Friday... Would you like to see Wagon Train at the movies? I didn't think so. Oh, Bye. I'm sorry, Nick. I suppose you've got your mind made up to see it? <gasps> you've seen it? She's already seen it. Hang on. Well, ask her about the scavenger set. Go ahead. Uh, Kay, you wouldn't want to help get the scavenger sale ready at the community center, would you? Well, how many ways can I say no? Oh, I've been hearing about that. Yes, I'd like to very much. Is it okay if I bring my boyfriend you Dave? You would? All right. I'll call for you then. About seven? Bye. I better change my pants. I sure didn't think she'd go to a place like that for a date. With a loser like me. Where's my racket? I should spank myself. Oh. Ready? You know, you better think some more, fellow, about what to do on a date. She said yes, okay? You think you'll have a good time? Oh. What do you suppose I'll have to do? You know who else gonna... Oh, yeah, who wouldn't have a good time? <laughs> June is busting out all over. <laughs> Aaron Copeland throws a party. <laughs> now, you may not have thought of this sort of thing as a place to take a date, but it looks like it could be fun. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Boy, this is fun with, with the used lamps and the festoonery. Oh. This party is getting out of control. A group doing things together. Hurts. Pretty good idea for a first date. Plenty to do, plenty of people to talk to. Plenty of opportunities to screw up big time. But let's see if Nick and Kay are enjoying it. No, I'm not supposed to take this thing with Kenny older. Boy, that is an old timer. <laughs> The dust comet proves to be a major miscalculation on Kay's part. It is an old timer. What was I thinking? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Kay's worked on the kill floor. She knows where to deliver the blow. Can you, can you help me put the sign up? Oh, sure. Sure, I'll do everything. This relationship is suffocating me. I can't quite reach that far. How's this? No, oh, look That's at this gangly oaf. <laughs> Son of a... Mm. Oh, oh. Say, Kay. Will you marry me? Are you really having a good time? Of 
course I am. I'm glad you thought of coming here. So am I. I remember when I was that age. Yes, it was a good idea. Okay. How about helping with refreshments for the gang? All right. The Crips or the Bloods? See you later. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, oh, sure. Sorry it didn't work out. Hmm. Got any more tax? Uh, I think they're over there by the door. I gotta cut him loose. Yes, it was a good idea to come here. At, At first. first. How does Jeff get ideas like that? From the voices inside hey, his head. What's this? Maybe this is where Jeff gets ideas. The lunch menu? A list of coming activities. A bike trip. That could be a lot of fun. A chance to do things with a group to get acquainted. Now, is this fantasy? It does look like a good time, if your partner likes it. That's a big if. One bad idea could mean the end of your relationship. Would Kay enjoy a bike trip? Or a weenie roast? Nick, no! no! Another group date. A chance to learn the give and take of working and playing together. Not much arranging needed, not much expense. And that can be important. Could be a fine date, if Kay would like. Kay, 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 what about my needs? Go to a baseball game. A date that's not too involved, one you can carry through comfortably. Nope, and Nick there are all out. sorts of other <laughs> sports events. Inexpensive dates, most of them. Swimming meets, for example. Are very dull. You can find many good hey, ideas. Hey, our luggage dates. is here, woo! Dates that give you a good chance to get acquainted. And dates yeah. that you don't have to worry too much about in advance. Nick, snap out of it. It was a good deal coming here tonight, double dating with Jeff and Phyllis. But mostly Jeff. Hmm? When all four are good friends and enjoy the same things, double dates can be lots of fun. Or you can ask Kay to go on dates with you alone, if you plan for what she enjoys. Hey, you loafer. What are you doing over there? Be right oh, there. I thought you were talking to me. Sorry. Awkward. Fine thing. As soon as Kay isn't around to supervise, you go off on a vacation. You know, Maestro, I don't think your date ideas are so original. Me? What? About what to do on a date, I mean. I'm but sorry. What I'd like to know is, how can you think out what a girl would like to do? A certain girl, I mean. Hmm. Well, you might ask her. Oh, I should have thought of that. Yeah, Nick's looking for you. Oh, jeez, hide me. He's good company. He always seems so quiet. We get along all right. He's got a good sense of humor, and we haven't run out of things to say yet. Hmm. He will. He's kind of cute. Huh. You gonna date him again? I don't know. Besides, he hasn't asked me. George, get out of there. I'm hungry. If you want to do something, take the Cokes out there. Okay, come on, where you go? All set? I think so. Why can't Nick be fun like George is? Let's get it, everybody. Come on, we eat. The Cokes. The sensuous pig and ritual begins. Mm. Hi, stranger. I decided to come out of hiding. Is she Salman hey, Rushdie? Looks good. You make the sandwiches? Flattery will get to go, please. Uh, Nick, other people have to eat, too. Mm, boy, oh, you know, those are the best. Oh, I'm being a junior genius. I'm going to chicken me out of all these sausages. Mm, boy, I can't believe I'm going to have sausages. Oh, Nick, you take me to the best places. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. Got back. <laughs> Your table, madame. Thank you, sir. There are regular Tracy and Hepburn up there. Look at them up there over there. Fun, yeah. You're sure you like to do things like this? Sure. Look, what do you I want from me, Nick? All girls wanted fellas to take them to fancy places, spend lots of money. Not this girl. <laughs> you know, I sort of like things like this, too. You won't laugh. I like to go on bicycle trips, too. <laughs> do you? Sorry. And miniature golf. You're not bad. Yeah, and weenie roasts and square dances. And baseball games and taffy pulls. I think they're swell. Say, you like to do lots of things, don't you? Yeah, you read the list, too. Say, Kay, next Friday there's going to be a weenie roast, or there'll be a bowling party if you'd rather do that. It won't work, Or, or we could go to the band concert. Oh, I'd enjoy going to the weenie roast very much. With someone else. You'd rather go bowling. 
No, I'd rather go to the Weenie Rose. Let's not fight, Nick. It's our first if date. If Jeff goes with Phyllis, we could double date with them. Hey, Nick, hey, come on. We're going to break off the ice cream. Okay, be right there. Ice cream? I love this party. About Friday? Yes, Nick. It's a date. Hey guys, what's a weenie roast? Yes, there are lots of things to do on dates. If you know how to look for them, if you plan them with the other person in mind, and if you really try to make sure each date's a good time. If you do these things, you'll know what to do on your day. But if you're an AV geek, don't even kid yourself. <laughs> Had this been an actual date, you would have been instructed where to go.